This programme contains strong language, adult themes, moderate pain and scenes some viewers might find offensive. I'm Natalie, you might know me from Axe on the Beach, and I'm here today with my mother. I'm Deb, I'm Natalie's mum. I love my mum because she's more like my sister. We're so similar, this is the reason why we're out. The most embarrassing thing about Natalie is when she had sex on telly. 20 years ago, she was out drinking, having a laugh, and maybe a few men as well. What's in the cow is in the car. We're really close. I just hope this today is not going to blow everything out of the water. Will this cow and her calf be crying over spilt milk after these tats? I hope not. So, come on then, why is he a dear? It's a nice day out, I think. It's like a mother and daughter bonding time. If you wanted a nice day out with your mum, you should have just booked a spa day. We're more like sisters. I think we're very similar. Do you uh, go out together? No! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that mum and daughter combo on a night out. Carnage. What was it like to see your daughter on telly? I was proud of her, but then I seen the bed sheets go and I thought, oh, she's got look at her. <laughs> <laughs> you, you couldn't sure. talk. You was worse than me probably back in the day, but just it wasn't filmed. Maybe Deb could have been on the 80s version of X on the Beach. Oh, wait, that was Baywatch. Do you have any nicknames for each other? <laughs> I call her Dirty Deb. Why is that? Why is that? You dirty girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, wrong with that. Dirty Deb is a great nickname, especially if it's true. Are you here to give each of a nice tattoos or bad tattoos today? I'm here to make a statement, I am. <laughs> oh, my God! Yes, I love that. But surely, as a mother, you're not going to do anything that bad to her. We, we're more like sisters. I don't know, but she's got, she's got so much shit on me. Like, she could literally ruin my life. Debs must have a lifetime of shit on Natalie. I bet she's spoiled for choice. Are you actually fucking joking me? They're fucking humongous. Oh my god, I can't I can't even fucking believe you are fucking. Oh. Another pair of fear goggles smashed up. This is getting expensive. They're not gonna be able to get covered either. Like it's like fucking awkward places I'll have them covered. She doesn't listen to me. This is my perfect opportunity to put my point across to her. I'm fucking fuming. Like, there is no way I can even cover that with a fucking long skirt either. Fucking sumo wrestlers, are you having an actual fucking joke? So I'm a, a bit confused about... I know, I don't understand. About the even... sumo wrestler. Which I'm not, but I'm the bum left, so I thought sumo left. She won't have to have done it, won't she? I feel like that almost qualifies as a nice tattoo. I mean, it's come from a nice place, Nat. Your mum was only trying to help. You're giving Nat a permanent bum lift. Yeah. Brilliant, thanks for that. If I wanted a bum lift, I'd go abroad for it and not have two sumo wrestlers hanging off my ass. It's ridiculous, I'm fuming. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think the tattoo's funny, though. Do you not think it's funny? No family's perfect, now, Especially not on this show. Should we just that go for fun. afternoon tea next time we yeah. have a day out? Just afternoon yeah. tea? Yeah, that'd be nice, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. As long as you leave here on good terms, that's all that matters to me. You pissed off, didn't you? No, I'm fine. It's OK. No, I feel really, I feel really That sure. is fine. Look what I've done to you as well. Do you know what I mean? No. Ah, oh, never mind. We'd be okay. Taxi for one, please. <laughs> 